These two rosemary bushes in front of my house are massive, so today it is time to give them a haircut. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Mini Urban Farm, a channel about gardening and homesteading in the suburbs. As you can see, these two rosemary bushes behind me have gotten severely overgrown in the last few months and today I'm going to show you how I prune them, when I prune them, um, tell you exactly how long it took them to get to this large of a, a rosemary plant um, for them both and also what I'm going to do with the tons of rosemary that come off of these plants. All right, so I've actually had each of these bushes for about two and a half to three years now. Um, I cut them several times a year, so this is not the first time I'm cutting them. You can see that they're each in this like wine barrel, half oak barrel container type thing, um, which I got for, I think they were like 20 or 30 bucks at the gardening center. Now, I actually am going to come and take off the majority of this. And just to give you kind of like an overall view of them, they come up to about my waist or so, and each one of these little sprigs here, um, or these really big sprigs here actually, goes about a foot and a half, um, and then there's even more growing from down here in like the middle of the plant. So the main thing that you want to consider when pruning rosemary is that you're going to take either hard or soft wood cuttings. And soft wood would be this growth here. It's really flexible. Um, it's not really woody. Sometimes it's green or like this light brown color. Um, for example, the green tips on this, this is definitely soft wood. Now these cuttings are really easy to root and they grow roots really fast. And then there's something like this, which is a hardwood cutting, which is very stiff. Um, so it doesn't bend a lot, but at the top you have a whole bunch of new growth. So what I'm gonna do is take a good chunk of these branches off and then I'm gonna divide them up into sections so that I can root some of them and then dry the rest and use it as dried herbs. Now like I said I do this at least a couple of times a year because it is warm here the majority of the year. Rosemary grows in a Mediterranean climate so you're likely not going to be able to grow this year round if it snows where you are. Um, but these plants stay out here the majority of the year and I prune them year round um, because it doesn't get that cold. Now, if you have your rosemary plants outside and it does get cold, you wanna avoid pruning them when it is fall or winter because it is going to promote that new growth and you want the plant to be able to harden itself off so that that new growth does not freeze when those temperatures drop. That means that anywhere between spring and summer when the danger of frost has passed is the best time to prune your rosemary bushes. Now for this, I'm using my garden shears. You can use scissors and I definitely have used scissors in the past. Usually when you're doing softwood, it's much easier to use scissors um, because the wood is not as hard of course, as the name implies, but with hardwood cuttings, I'm gonna use something a little bit stronger and more able to cut through these really thick pieces. All right, so I just finished the first one. You can tell what a massive difference this is. So this one has not been touched yet, and this is the one that I just finished doing. You can tell that there's a pretty significant difference. Um, this one is significantly bushier. This one looks like it's been hacked up a little bit um, by a lawnmower. And so you can see, you can be pretty liberal um, when cutting some of these stems. I've cut probably a good six, eight inches on the entire like height of this plant. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one as well. But you can see these stems are significantly longer and just like bushier um, than these ones and you don't have to really be super careful um, because rosemary is very tolerant of just pruning overall um, and cutting it back. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you are pruning rosemary the oil and the leaves and whatever else kind of comes out and you can see it's like sticky and there's quite a bit of residue over my hands so you can get that off um, by a lot of soap and scrubbing but also I find that alcohol works um, and just something that provides a little bit more degreasing and you can see even my fingers are like getting stuck on themselves so definitely something to keep in mind and so far this is how much we have this is a pretty good size um, harvest basket here and this is a ton of rosemary so far that we've gotten Okay, so now I'm back here at my potting bench. I am going to process 
some of this rosemary which really means just taking the new growth because I want to save the rosemary here I'm not going to be able to propagate this dark woody growth out it's going to be very hard for this to grow roots and it's going to take a very long time but this growth over here will grow very quickly so I'm going to take this off so probably right about there I'll make a cut and then this whoops this will root quickly what I'm gonna do is add them to my cups of water here but first I am going to remove all of the lower leaves and just leave about that much growth um, which means that this entire stem here is free you can see that's pretty green just here at the tip is where it's a little bit brown but that's okay because it's still really soft so i'm going to take these and then put them in my water um, which is filled just enough to where it hits the stem and not the leaves this i'll set aside because i'm going to tie these off and hang them to dry and then once i have a pile of these extra rosemary leaves here um, from these these leaves i'm taking off of the um the stems i will just chop them up and save them dry them for later or put them in rosemary salt or something like that but essentially you want to get the most new growth you can so wherever the new growth stops is where you're gonna take off these leaves I'm not even halfway done but I do want to show you guys before it starts getting dark here so here's my basket of cuttings this is everything that I felt was a little too woody um, to be propagated out or there were just better ones out there so I left these ones intact essentially what I'm gonna do with these is I will bunch them up and I will tie them here with some twine and I will hang them upside down to dry and by the time that these become all brittle um, these will just be for dried herbs and I'll take them off the the stems and I'll be able to dry them and then over here I have my little water cups with my rosemary plants um, with the stems like this mostly softwood as you can see um, in water so that they can grow their little roots and then everything that I'm taking off of those stems to put in here that's gonna be for rosemary salt or for herb bombs or anything like that now when I'm done with those three little containers I'm gonna come in here and put them in my greenhouse don't mind that the um, the pole doesn't seem to want to stay in place and as you can see I have some time in here that is um, I think a couple days old now so hopefully that'll start to root in another week or so and I'm gonna come in here and take my same little cup and put it here actually I'll probably put it over here somewhere um, and just let that sit in there for a good couple of weeks and then when I come to check on it these should have roots already all right guys so i'm gonna go and finish up all of my cuttings um everything that is in this basket behind me if you want to watch how i make my rosemary herb bombs i will leave that right here on the screen so you can go watch that video thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.